David Cameron scrapped a scheduled visit to Scandinavia for this urgent meeting with the European Commission president. They were shaking hands, but when will they be shaking on a deal? Who pulls the brake, Mr Cameron is asked. A nod to the so-called emergency break they were about to discuss. The issue? The PM wants EU citizens working in Britain to wait longer before they can claim tax credits and other benefits. He says it'll help reduce high levels of immigration to the UK. After a few hours of talks, there was still no outcome. No, there's no deal done, but we have made progress. There's still a long way to go, but one instance of progress is that for a long time I've said we've got to have a system where you don't get benefits out of the system until you pay in to our system. We want to end the idea of something for nothing. It's one of David Cameron's most notable demands ahead of a European referendum. He wanted to deny in-work benefits to EU migrants until they'd been in the UK for four years. But after opposition from parts of Eastern Europe, there's a new proposal, a so-called emergency break measure. It would mean countries could only stop the payments if their welfare systems were deemed to be under excessive strain. Most significantly, application of that break would have to be endorsed by the rest of the EU. That proposed deal would leave power firmly in the hands of Brussels. David Cameron previously argued that the EU needed fundamental, far-reaching change. So is he now retreating rather than reforming? The emergency break is completely uh, a red herring and it's designed to give the impression that, we do, that the government would do something about immigration. For Mr Cameron, there are still deals to be done before he can even name the day of that referendum.